good day, and hotel. And welcome to Harambe. We have a wonderful show in store for you today. We would like to introduce you to the African Ancestral Chamber and also tell you a little bit about the event that we've recently held in Richmond, Virginia, titled Ancestor Day and Fite. Today, I have some guests with me who are members of the African Ancestral Chamber. But before we get to them, let me tell you a little bit about the African Ancestral Chamber. It was actually formulated very recent, just this year. It is a group of very powerful, as one brother put it, elite group of individuals who are interested in the social and economic advancement of our community. Mentoring is a very important aspect of our group. And without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce our other members who are here with us. First, I'd like to introduce you to Brother Omowali Maceo Dean, Jr. And also, I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Linda Kareem. Good evening, everyone. Uh, these are two members of a 13-member body, and we are sharing with you today some highlights from, a from the recent event that we had, Ancestor Day and FITE, here in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, Omar Wally, would you like to talk a little bit about the event? Oh, sure. Um, I'm really excited about being here and presenting ourselves to the community. Uh, speaking about this African Ancestor Day celebration, we had uh, on uh, what was it, October the 27th at the Williamsburg Road Flea Market, and then we had uh, continued on with the celebration on to Sunday, which was uh, October the 28th, down at the African Burial Ground. We had a very nice and beautiful uh, processional going from the African Burial Ground up to our Egyptian building up at our 13th and Marshall Streets. On the first day of the event, uh, it was just so powerful and dynamic as uh, we had all of these different individuals within the African Ancestral Chamber. They uh, presented and contributed their particular expertise uh, to the event. Um, we had uh, 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 Miss Queen uh, Linda Kareem all set. She spoke on uh, DNA repair. Uh, we had another brother, uh, Akil Akibalan. You know, he spoke on the signs, symbols, and colors, which was the theme, right, of the, uh, of the program. And um, of course, our uh, sister Josine came in, and uh, she, spoke to, she spoke on rituals. Also, uh, we had uh, Sister Monica, Queen Monica Hedero. Uh She spoke on the, uh, uh, the legacy, right? Mm -hmm. Resurrection of the oh, yeah. royal family. Right, resurrection mm -hmm. of the royal family, and um, we had a uh, what was it? Um, chain, uh, who was it? A roundtable sort of a business, African, African business, business roundtable. Round table where we were reaching out to the community, mm -hmm. trying to come up with uh, special economic endeavors and ideas where the whole community could become involved in it and uh, can prosper. And then uh, we had a brother named Abu Bakr talk about the essentials of unity. Mm -hmm. Uh, you'll soon see uh, some clips and film uh, excerpts from this program, and I uh, hope you enjoy them. Thank you. Education has very little to do with what I give you. It has to do with what you give me. That's right. I impart information, a tap into the untapped potential in order to bring out that which is already in you. Well, for that reason, I'll be asking you a series of questions. I will be asking you questions you don't know the answers to. You're going to know the answers to these questions. Ready to get started? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Is a number a word? Is a number a word. A number is a word. First slide. This one before that. The 
when it says five, F-I-V-E. Oh, she doesn't have it. Stop right there. All right. F-I-V-E is a word. It's a number for five. Five hats, five shoes. Infinite health, infinite joy. And it goes on from one generation to another throughout all eternity. So, I'm going to stop here. And the deity that is coming through today is Sekhmet. I'm going to start with Anejarak, Amenora, Anuktadirnet, Amenora, Anuk, Amenora. I'm calling Amenora to come forth to be here right now. Because in our DNA is everything. Everything that has been created and uncreated and recreated again because we are infinite energy. So today I'm going to call another deity. I think that we need her very much and her name is Sekhmet. And Sekhmet is the mother of gods. Sekhmet the Great. So I have a hundred names of Sekhmet that I'm going to run through to revitalize this energy on your hard drive. Because all the deities are on your hard drive. Remember our living legacy. One of the things that uh, we must realize is that we're not makers of history, but we are made by history. That's the quote from Martin Luther King in 1964. So what I want to do in the next few, few slides is just sort of share some of that history and where we've come. 1957, Brother Nkrumah, Kwame Nkrumah, his quote, when Ghana gained its independence, was forward ever, backward never. Mm -hmm. The picture that is here is very recent. It's a picture from, Ju from July of this year. This group represents the African diaspora, and they were actually a contingency officially recognized by the Ghana government for being, uh, you know, for, for, formulation, for formulation. So in other words, the Ghana government officially recognizes the African diaspora. And this group, which is led by uh, Sister um, Dr. Bennett, Dr. Erica Bennett, is, uh, she's lead of the African Union, of the African Diaspora Forum officially recognized by the African Union. And several of these uh, people in this group are represent the Pan-African groups and diaspora. We have people from Jamaica. We have the UNIA represented. Uh, we have the African Union, I mentioned. Um, Jamaica, uh, Suriname, you know, different people. And so this is the past, and here we are coming forward to the present. Excellent. Where is everybody? And she said, everybody is us. And when I go up to the uh, um, farm, I would actually sit there and I would hear. I would hear music. I would hear um, information coming to me. I would write down. I really had a feast because I believe that they were right camped all around us. That's when I look at the 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 uh, the Bible verse that or that that part that says. Um, honor that father and that mother. If you honor your father and your mother, that continues on until they pass away. Because they go into another part of their family, their mother and father. And you, you are all a part of a larger, larger, larger connected of many families coming together. So when we pray, and we have communion, and we sing, and we give dance, and we do all of that. We give energy. And the reason for that is, if you don't have collective work and responsibility, then you won't, you're not going to have unity. And if you don't have unity, you're not going to have collective economics. So as a general rule, we always we should start from the basics or from the beginning. 
Uh, I shared with um, the facilitators the other night. Uh, I lived in Africa for some time, and I learned a lot of things there. And now that I'm home, I find myself frequently measuring by the things that I learned back home. One of the things you will find, and in New York City sort of reflects it in a way, but if you're not a northerner or you are a northerner, they're probably desensitized to it. And if you're from the south, you're probably surprised by it. But if you go to New York, the people in New York, they, they hustle. They go out to get money. And they're not playing about it. Why do you think that is? Is it because of poverty? Some of it could be. But a lot of it is because we were always entrepreneurs. We were always people that we made the best of what we had. Back when we had the bartering system, see, money is an illusion. Yes, sir. Yeah. Money does not exist. It only exists in our minds. Right. Yes, sir. That's why they say it's legal tender, because they made everything that's useful and right illegal. Okay? But we created the barter systems. We created the money systems. Mm -hmm. We used cowrie cow shells for, for, for one, one currency. We used objects as a currency. Animals was a currency. So people might say, how do you use animals as a currency? Well, it's very simple. If I use cows as a dowry, those cows are currency. So we don't eat them. Right. <laughs> use the breed, right? You understand? So we had other cows that we had raised for substance. Yes, sir. But the cows that I received as dowry for marriage to my daughters, I added to the family wealth so that when my son decides to marry, I can add those 10 cows to the 10 cows that I had before, and we can offer 20 cows for your daughter. So the richer I get, the more dowry I can and offer. In addition to the program on Saturday, we had a um, wonderful, a very uplifting and enlightening experience in Richmond's, um, I like to call it, or it is as we know it, African Way, which many people um, you know, don't know of where African Way is, but we're here to enlighten and inform. And so Linda, would you also talk about the uh, wonderful activities that we had on Sunday? Uh, the wonderful activities, uh, thank you, Monica. Uh, the activity Sunday was just amazing. The participation was very lively and everyone was willing to brave the weather <laughs> because there was a hurricane uh, rumor that a hurricane was on the way. But despite the threat of inclement weather, the program went on and we had um, a um, recognition of those ancestors that have uh, come before us. We are uh, recognizing their presence and their contribution to our life. And life is great. Life is great because they made it great for us. And they've given us, the, they passed on to us the staff of life. And in that staff of life is everything that we need. And we need to take the knowledge, the information, the struggle, and the accomplishments of our ancestors so that we can move forward. And so we, uh, in recognition of that, we, we sang songs and then we uh, recited uh, prayers. And then there was a procession from the uh, burial ground up to the Egyptian building. Right. It was very, very beautiful. And as we uh, gathered together, there was this uh, bust of uh, Hippocrates at the center of the square between the buildings, right in front of the uh, uh, Egyptian building and there's a bullseye, and so we all gathered around. All the members of the chamber and all of the participants 
were very, very excited about this moment. And so uh, there was an opportunity for us to recognize that our ancestors have made a tremendous contribution to civilization, period, exclamation point. <laughs> And oh, and, and we need to come back to that. And if someone doesn't know the the African presence in global consciousness, then come to the chamber workshops and meetings. And so we'll bring you up to date on those kind of things. If there's any information um, missing in your gap of awareness, where you come from, it's just like the Sankofa bird. If you, it's okay to go back to where you came from to gather the information that you need in order to move forward. Because the Sankofa bird is shaped like a circle. It's unending. And so our ancestral presence is still here, exactly right? right? Exactly right. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. And so we need to know that we have our ancestors helping us and it's a good thing because yes. it's in our DNA. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. it's in yeah. the blood. It's in, you know, DNA is one of those topic areas that um, is people look to medicine as if medicine is the only place to find out information about your DNA. Mm -hmm. But in fact, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's your family. It, it's in your bloodline. It is, uh, you know, really in the air that you breathe. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a chemistry thing. And um, it's a mental thing as well. It's a spiritual thing. It's a thing. very spiritual thing. So this whole day's program was really about uh, elevating the spiritual um, essence of our community and learning how to um, fashion the positivity and the blessings and the, the light in our lives. That's what the whole experience was really all about. And so if you have not had that kind of experience in your life recently, then you definitely need to come and check us out. I think that and one thing to add about your DNA is that everything that has ever happened on this planet from the beginningless beginning all right is stored inside your body. Exactly right. It's right here. Exactly right. That means the failures and the victories. You and know? we have victories. <laughs> and we <laughs> have victories and we are moving forward. <laughs> if you have any doubt about the African diaspora moving forward, then come and check us out because you will be elated to know that oh many positive things are going on around the world in your neighborhood and so we invite you to come and learn about those very positive and uplifting things that are going on um, as you know she spoke about the, the DNA aspect we have um, you know we talked about business uh, we are we talked about social and uh, the social aspect and mentoring um, our youth and, and including an intergenerational perspective and that's really what this whole movement is about and we're just three representatives of a larger body of people who are very excited about these times and so hopefully um, the program that we're going to share with you today reflects that. And, uh, oh. speak to itself. You know one of the remarkable things that I really uh, gathered from this whole experience was how you know, they had the impending storm that was supposed to come yeah, in. Yeah, it was. You know, messed the whole thing up. Right, and, then, and that uh, was what storm for everybody to know? What storm was that? Was Sandy, that? Oh, yeah, Hurricane Sandy, Sandy. Right, Sandy. Right, right. yes. And she, which was, um, she did some devastation. Mm -hmm. Then we had the, who, the ancestors, Irene and Sister Joyce, who had just recently passed. And we were praying to these ancestors because this group is so dynamic and spiritual. And that's what we are basically trying to stay in contact, focus on our divinity. You know? Of course, because we are spirit exactly in right. a body. Exactly right. right? Exactly. We are all, we, we will never be flesh and blood. And we live by principles and laws. And there are certain laws that, that are irrefutable and are unchangeable. And you can depend on exactly them like right. gravity. Exactly if right. you can depend on gravity, <laughs> taking one step and, and putting it out in front of, putting one foot in front of the other, then you can trust yourself in economic development. 
you can trust yourself in uh, developing your soul, which means the development of your intellect, the development of your talents and skills, the development of your, your, your dreams, your hopes and desires for building a new civilization, and it requires you to study, to be literate, not in just European or Western civilization, but for you to be literate in the history of this planet. The whole world. Right. The and whole the world. universe. Because your whole understand. family, mm -hmm. your whole family is on this planet. You, you just don't have your immediate family um, that lives with you, that you associate with. But you belong to a huge global family. Right. And it has a long, right. Right. illustrious history. And it pays for us to know these facts. Absolutely. It pays for us to understand where you come from. Because without a history, you are <laughs> no, an and animal. Thing, I, <laughs> thing I, try to always, uh, I try to always bring to mind mm. is, is that it's so important that we contribute because just like we said, we're standing on the ancestors' shoulders. Soon That's someone right. will be standing upon our shoulders. Absolutely. You know? And by us trying to stay in, uh, in, in contact and focused on our divinity, our divine self, following the laws of my art, uh, most of mankind's troubles comes from trying to think that uh, he can do without the laws and disobey the laws. And so, when you have uh, the uh, woes of humankind, it basically comes from a person uh, ignoring the laws which you just spoke about. You know, they're they're, so they're, important. These and, people are called strangers. Yeah, and so uh, you know, the thing I like about our particular group is that everybody in this particular group, uh, regardless of what denomination we're in, we're all very spiritual beings. You know, and we make sure that we stay focused on that point. That it's not really. Or Mawali doing something, or Sister Monica, or Queen Alset. It's uh, we work and we are tools for the divine powers to be. Absolutely, and we you know. Uh, we can. I'd like to point out what uh, uh, Reverend Josine Osborne brought forward, and she brought forward the um, immediate family. Bring out your photographs. Make sure right, that you right. do your picture albums. Uh, gather all the family pictures together and put them in a photo album and make sure you know that if you have pictures with your sister or your aunt or your cousin that this history is preserved yeah and also you know they have uh, genealogy forms that you can help to that'll help you stay on track with documenting who your relatives are and one of the one of the key aspects i think of this program was not only for us to think about the past, mm -hmm. but for us to remember that whatever we do today, we are moving forward to the future. Mm -hmm. We often hear, for example, in terms of being African Americans, that the first documented presentation was in 1619 in Virginia. Well, I have a question about that. <laughs> but the point is, whether or not that is in fact the absolute truth, the point is that whatever we do today, we're documenting for the future. Exactly right. So we want to make sure that people understand that our presence, what our presence was here, and what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. And this chamber, what we're doing here is basically um, um, uh, is setting precedence for our future. We are trying to uplift and to uh, remember those divine principles, guidelines, and um, and cultural practices that contributed to Africans being basically the fathers and mothers of the world, of the, the universe. And so um, we are powerful people. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> it's, a word, it's a word I always like to use sometimes. It's called ineffable. And what it, That's a big word. Yeah. And, uh, okay. but basically what it means is, is that it can't be explained in words, you know. So when you start doing oh, a lot of things, oh, that's only because you have don't have a vocabulary, right? But listen. So what <laughs> I'm saying is that the experience that we had Sunday, when you did the chimes and the bells, the planetary bells, mm -hmm. we didn't really get a chance to really complete that particular uh, ritual. Mm -hmm. 
We can well, do it, it again. Was, yeah, it was, yeah. And invite the public to come of in. Of course. It was so powerful and so dynamic and moving. It sent shivers up my spine and really the spines of everybody there because you could tell the way that they were looking and, and you could feel the power mm -hmm. that actually existed within that circle. That, uh, yeah, tell about the circle that we had made too. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, a sacred, uh, the sacred ground? Uh, yes, uh, we created a sacred uh, circle. Basically, African Way is formerly known as the African Burial Grounds. And um, if you don't know the history, that is a part of the Richmond Slave Trail. And um, our ancestors walked that trail. Also, that is the location where, as history has it, Gabriel Prosser was executed. And so our, we have a great deal of pain in that vicinity. Right. But at the same time, there's a great story of healing, a great story of redemption, a great story of exodus for African people. And so we have basically um, created a sacred space to tell those uh, wonderful stories. Now, we've got a wonderful program in store for you. We hope that you enjoy all aspects of the program. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a, a shout out. Our phone number is 804-363-3282. Our email is africanancestralchamber at gmail.com. <laughs>